Welcome back. Today, after a long wait, I come back to you in the second part of display and control your Android device on Linux, which I promised you to touch on it, the most important features of screen copies application. So, connect your device by following the steps that I presented in the first part and let's go. Are you looking for a compatible pre-configured Linux laptop? To enjoy using it without worrying about hard hardware drivers, this is your lucky day, as I have some amazing offers for you. The Star Labs Linux laptops. Come take a look. The laptops come in two models, the top model and the light one. For mini laptops lovers, the two have Linux pre-installed and configured for you. Read my full review from here or from the link in the description below for more details. Enjoy! The first feature is reduced size. It is an important feature that allows to increase performance. So, to reduce size, use the following command line. The second one is change bitrate filter. It's really a useful filter, especially when you mirror your Android device wirelessly. The default bitrate is 8 megabytes per second. So, to change the bitrate, use the following command line. The third one, crop. You can use this feature to mirror only a part of the screen. To use it, run the following command line. The fourth one, record screen. This is my favorite feature, which I will use it to make some videos about Android in the coming weeks, Allah willing. To record your device screen, run the following command line. The fifth theater, disable mirroring while recording. This is a great theater because it helps reduce battery consumption. You can use it by running the following command line. Number six, multi devices theater. Another important theater that allows you to choose which device you want to display and control using your computer. So, if several devices are listed in ADB devices, you must specify the serial using the following command line. The seventh theater, full screen. It doesn't need a comment, 
that if you are one of those who provide tutorials about Android, this theater will help you a lot. To use it, run the following command line. Number 8. Always on top theater. Aptly name it. This theater simply makes the display window always stay above the windows of other applications, as you can see. Now, show touches theaters. To use it, run the following command line. Another important theater for those interested in making presentation. As you can see, when it's activated, touches appear when you touch the smartphone screen. Number 9. Install APK, a Nate theater, which allows you to install APK app on your device from your computer. So, after mirroring your, your device, simply drag and drop an APK file to the screen copy window. There is no visual feedback. A log is printed to the console. Number 10. Push file to device. A cool theater that allows you to, to push a file to your device. So, simply drag and drop a non apk file to the, to the display window. As the previous theater, there is no visual feedback. A log is printed to the console. The target directory can be changed on start by using the following command line. Number 11. Read only mode. I could not determine a specific use of this theater. So if you know one, tell me in the comment box. To use it, run the following command line. Number 12. Turn screen off. Simply is turn off the device screen as you can see. Let's repeat the process to make sure it works. Number 13. Render expired frames. I do not recommend using this theater because it may affect performance. But if you want to try it or use it for some reasons, run the following command line.
Now, the custom window title filter. Give the display window a special title. In my case, I give it the Linux Take More title using the following command line. Finally, the shortcuts theater. I will only touch some shortcuts. As an example, the full screen shortcut, Ctrl F, the background shortcut, Ctrl H, The back shortcut, Ctrl B. The power shortcut, Ctrl P. The volume up shortcut, Ctrl arrow up. The volume down shortcut, Ctrl arrow down. You will find a link to the full list of shortcuts in the description box. That is all. I hope you enjoy. I will present to you in the next video top Android open source apps. If you like the video and you want more, you only have to subscribe, activate the notification bell and drop a like. You can also follow me on social media. See you in the next video.